What is going on guys, Grave here, welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2, and of course today we did get our big update 1.34, a lot of people have been looking forward to this. I'm going to kind of give you the high points of the patch notes, I will link them in their entirety down in the description below if you want to read over everything, I didn't want to sit here and bore you for 15 minutes just reading over some of this dull stuff, but I will get into some of the cool stuff that did happen with this update today. Of course, Naboo is uh, available to play in Capital Supremacy. Droidica is a playable character in the Enforcer class in the prequel era. Of course, the TX-130 is a playable vehicle in the Armor class in the prequel era. And the new appearance for Anakin Skywalker, General Skywalker, is now available to unlock for credits and crystals. And more clone trooper appearances are now, uh, are now available. The 41st Scout Battalion, the 212 Recon Division. And you can also unlock both of these with credits and crystals. Uh, they have some quality of life improvements, which has improved uh, you know, some thing on the front end message parts. Improved messaging when officers include both emotes and corresponding voice lines. Now, they did have a good bit of hero changes. Now, a lot of people were wanting some hero star card changes. But before I get into those, the one thing that I think was kind of neat was blaster heroes can now crouch. Just like a normal character, you can now crouch as a blaster hero. But Anakin's... Uh, reprisal card got a 30, 60, 90, 120 to 40, 60, 80, 100 change. Uh, Count Dooku's Rising Power Star card went from 50, 70, 90, 110 to 40, 60, 80, 100. Aiden's card, uh, the Friend in Battle, went from 40, 50, 60, 70 to 40, 60, 80, 100. Ray's Survivor card went from 30, 40, 50, 60 to 40, 60, 80, 100. And Emperor Palpatine's Lightning absorption went from 10, 15, 20, 25 to 40, 60, 80, 100. Now, this was based on a lot of feedback they said from players and what they wanted to see change with the heroes. So, that is some of the things that they did do, especially with the star cards. Of course, they adjusted the animation of Yoda's attack speed, fixed a few various things with Darth Maul. Anakin is released from the pull uh, dominance ability during animation sooner general grievous fixed an issue where general grievous was no longer able to block uh, a lot of these like count dooku obi-wan and chewbacca a lot of these things were fixed issues where you could escape certain uh, you know abilities defensive uh, rush ability with obi-wan would not inflict lightsaber marks a lot of the things they did with the heroes today were just fixes because i guess they had a lot of issues with things not working properly now, one that they did do a little bit more to than just kind of fix some, you know, some small issues was Luke Skywalker. Reduced the charge time of repulse from 20 to 17. Increased base radius of repulse from 10 to 12. Changed Luke's Jedi fighter stamina drain decrease from 5, 8, from 5, 6, 8 to 10. And 5, 6, 8, 10 to 20. 25, 30, 35. Sorry, guys. I'll get it out here in just a second. Adjusted the animation of Luke Skywalker's attack speed. Fixed an issue where Luke could not damage enemies with Rush after dying. Uh, also, they did some changes to Leia, Han Solo, Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, Captain Phasm, Finn, Ray. But these were all just fixes, just like the first few. There were no changes really to the character, but just fixing some bug problems. Of course, Capital Supremacy ground phase and the Capital Supremacy ship phase got some changes. They're still trying to work on that time, how long the game mode will last. Now, they did do some work on a few different maps for some bug fixes. But mainly, that is pretty much it, guys. It was a lot of bug fixes to kind of go along with Jordica being added uh, or Jordica's being added to play. And, of course, the new tank and the new skins. But overall, I think it was a good update for one reason, because we did get some fixes for some issues within these heroes and some of the maps, but we also got some new things to play with in-game. So leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I'll link these down in the description below if you would like to read over them for yourself. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.